Welcome back to another epi. Today I'm gonna be testing out my new film camera. So you may have heard of the Context T2 film camera, probably from like Kendall Jenner from that interview she did. I know that really like made these cameras a lot more expensive than they used to be. Another thing about this camera is it's so expensive. You guys, like for no reason, actually no, for a big reason, it's like a film camera, but they used to actually be like around $500, but ever since like the social media influencers started using them and a lot of people like that, they've really like bumped up in the price range. I've been getting super into them ever since like the disposable film ones and I was like, I think it's time for me to get a real one and I got it a couple days ago and I'm so excited to use it, you guys. I've taken like a couple pictures just to try it out, you know, I had to. But I'm so excited to see if these films actually turn out and if they look like genuine, like good film or if they're just kind of crappy, if that camera's like not really worth it or anything. So yeah, I'm gonna see if it's worth the money for you guys. I'm gonna test it out, show you how I like it, compare them to regular photos from like my iPhone and really get down and dirty to see um, if I like this or not. But today, me and Ronnie are gonna go to some cute flower places that I've been seeing everywhere so far. I actually really like this camera, but I'm gonna get into more depth when we use it a lot more today. So yes, let's get to shooting. Oh my God, you guys. I'm literally in shock right now. I did not think it looked like this. Me and Ronnie were literally at the same exact field like two weeks ago. Um, mm, mm, like a month, probably. <laughs> a little bit. Um, but it literally was like, it was like yellow. The and whole thing was just like I'm just dirt. so confused. It's so beautiful. I'm just like in awe. Do they smell good? <laughs> I don't know about like raw lavender smell. It's definitely a little different. Yeah, it doesn't smell like it. it smells like sticks. I'm so excited. These are gonna be cute. Yeah. Come over here. You need to talk. We need to talk. <laughs> In the beginning, we legit thought this button was like the on button, but turns out it's a timer. Hang on, does that not look like a power button? We just... also didn't really look at it that in depth. It's but yeah, weird. so we were like, oh my god, can this only take timer cams? But no, we were wrong. We just don't need to click that unless we want a timer. We've already wasted nine. <laughs> no, actually I took more. Also, I don't really know how many like we have on this, so I brought an extra one just in case we run out of that film. There's a lot of like other like buttons that I have no idea what they mean or anything. Like I think it's like exposure. Well, I did kind of look it up, but I couldn't really like. Nah. It's like three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Thinks it's hard to look through it because you don't really know where it cuts off. Okay, with regular cameras, when you look through this part, there's a technical name for it. I don't know the thing, the holy it's thingy. Okay. Yeah, it like when you take the picture, it's the whole frame that you're seeing, and on this, there's like there's like little guidelines on the outside. So like, it's you don't kinda, really know what you're gonna get. Yeah, it's like you can kind of eyeball it, but it's like a little weird. We're gonna do timer cams now. Are you ready? Oh shit. Wait. <laughs> you, moved, you moved in it! Are you ready? 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 No. We just took like 12, so I don't know how many we should do at each place. I wanted to take pictures on my phone so we could like compare the difference between the film and the phone. Oh my god. Those are so cool. Make sure not to step on the plants! <laughs> On to the next location, you guys, those looked so cute. Like I was like looking at the ones on my phone. Great <laughs> success. That's one downside of this that we noticed. Like I keep moving because I'm just used to like pictures on phones where I just like constantly move or like get like every second, you know? But like on a film, you legit have to wait like two seconds. So that kind of sucks. Hello, I'm here for the review. So the first location, the lavender field, I took so many pictures here. Um, I'm sure you're all wondering how the film cameras turned out. Like if I'm being honest, 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 these cameras aren't much different than these cameras. Let's look at the pictures. So here are all the pictures that I got from the lavender field. As you can tell, they're so cool. Like they have like a film look to them. They're really vibey, really vintage. But what I didn't love is as you can tell in the self timer ones, they're really blurry. I think that it doesn't really focus that well. Even sometimes when Ronnie was taking my pictures, 
it wasn't really focused. I don't know why, but a lot of my pictures were pretty blurry. So here's my regular iPhone picture compared to the film picture. Kind of different, not too different. We're at my favorite tree! You guys follow me on Instagram? Like whenever I go to Ronnie's house, I always pass this tree and it's always Hang on, so this lighting. cute. Why is this lighting like that, sorry? <laughs> It's like you're when he's really a dark. Lighting. There we go. No, no, not saying. Okay. So yeah, I always pass this tree. I'm like, it's so cute. And then one day, like, I pulled over and took pictures by it. But I think it'd be cute on film. So that's what we're gonna do now. I have to change though. <laughs> I decided to just put a bucket hat on because I want to save my outfits for the other locations. Yeah, the rest of her closet that's in the back of the van. Can't really see the tree right now, but. Yeah, you might wanna. Try not to step on those plants because they're obviously, I think those are beans. No. I know, I don't think, I think they are beans. They're crops, tell you that. I've already taken pictures here, so. Location two. This place, I didn't take many pictures, but honestly, these pictures looked the least like a film for some reason. These are what I got. Honestly, they look like I'd taken them on like a DSLR camera for some reason. But I mean, yeah, I guess here's my film camera and here is it compared to a filter with a preset. You guys, this shirt is so fun, but it's a bandana, but I made it. Um, very cool. Okay. We're at someone's house right now, but I really like the fence and the dandelions. I saw it the other day and I was like, that's so cute. So we're gonna like make it really fast. Also, if this is your house, you have a cute house. Yeah, thanks for the field of dandelions. <laughs> <laughs> Oh there was a fence there on the opposite side it was electric and I was like oh my god I wonder if it's on so he touches it and it's on he's like oh you touch it I'm like no I don't want to touch it and he's like you touch it I'm like no I don't want to touch it so he takes my hand I drop my camera and I was like oh don't I'm like backing up I freaking step on the film camera did you feel it shock you because I held your hand no I didn't oh I didn't take your hand and I wasn't gonna put it on the fence I was just gonna, no I know you were gonna, gonna hold see if it went through it. your hand but it works like that but <laughs> I didn't want it to. Why is it not focusing? There, there it we is. are. Well, we forgot to take normal pictures because I was so scared. Because Maya got scared, dropped her phone, or dropped the camera, <laughs> stepped on it, tried to break it, tried to sabotage the whole video. But we're back. He made me do it. He oh, literally was like, seriously, do it. Just my... do it. Just let me shock you. She didn't, no, she didn't grab it. I grabbed it and I grabbed her hand. And it shot it legit shocked me went through his body into me yeah but it still hurt me so like it barely it definitely barely no, felt it no no i felt it okay this location was pretty cute um honestly though the films weren't my favorite here they are personally don't think i look cute in them i think i was just like not ready that's one thing about films it's super like stupid because you don't know how you look in them and you can't take like 500 like how you can on an iPhone so like that is a big downside of film cameras so I wasn't really a fan of how I looked in this <laughs> really the only one that I liked was the blurry one this one that you can't really see my face in <laughs> come across something uh where did this close oh <laughs> you uh you missed a <laughs> you missed a loop man. I did yeah where did this close location um <laughs> Probably not supposed to be here, but, but well, it's just for a picture. It's not like I'm picking apples. Look, we don't have to tell them that we're at an apple orchard. We're not at an apple orchard. Exactly. We're just <laughs> cool place, bunch of trees. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! <laughs> Yay! Here. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. I hate it. <laughs> I was driving by these trees like literally like two days ago, and they're like full bloomed, so they all fell off. Yeah, we had some like storms too, so it like kind of that didn't help either. Yeah, but I feel like it'll still be cute, you know? Should we go over there or right yeah. here? Okay. Well, actually, these trees are so cute. They're like dead, bro. But they're like. Yeah, okay. They're like straight. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, well, I think I'm done.
taking pictures. Last location, definitely probably my favorite. I just think these films turned out like the best by far. Not only do they look more like films, but they kind of have like that film vibe. Like I'm kind of in the outfit of a film. They have like more of like a grainy type of like look to them. I don't know. Again, a lot of them are blurry, so like that sucks, but I guess it's what the context T2 gives you. <laughs> Here's the regular film pictures compared to my iPhone pictures. Pretty different. Pretty more crisp the iPhone, obviously. But I think these ones definitely were the most drastic change. It's like hot out today. It's like I'm, sticky. It's I'm like not so hot sticky. Right now. It's just humid. Yeah, and I hate that. Well, that's my like cool. No! <laughs> I was actually gonna blow it too. So yeah, another thing that a lot of people say is um, your films kind of depend on where you get them developed. If you're wondering, I got these ones developed at Walgreens. Um, next time that I develop mine, I'm gonna bring them to Walmart. I actually did that today. So I just dropped them off at Walmart, so we'll see if they are any different. I'll let you know on my Instagram because this video is probably gonna be like up by then. Also, if you're wondering, these films took exactly six days to come in, so kind of like a week. And then I use a CD converter to put them on my laptop, and then if you want them on my phone, I airdropped them to my phone. So yeah, that's what I do if you guys are wondering. I always get questions about that, so yeah. Okay, so another question you've all been wondering, is the Context T2 worth your money? Honestly, if you don't have that much money right now, no. Because these cameras do just fine, although these in the long run can be so expensive also. So if you take a lot of these, it might be a good idea to invest in an actual film camera. But if you just want to take them every once in a while, eh. But I will admit, it's actually really fun having a real film camera. It makes you feel like more professional. It kind of gives you like a little step above the disposable film cameras. It was really fun filming this video. I personally am happy I bought it, even though I am kind of like a little disappointed in how the pictures turn out. I'm definitely going to play around with the settings a bit more. Let me know if you want a part two, learning anything else, or like what I learned having a Context T2. Because I'm definitely, definitely going to shoot more with this. I already have go th gone through another whole film rolls. All right, well, I also, actually, I realized I didn't end this vlog, so hopefully you got some helpful hints of if you actually like a real film camera and if you want to buy one. They're really expensive, but I feel like they're going to be really cute, so I have high hopes for this. No, you're lying. <laughs> you can't open the Wow. We went through all that work for nothing. Actually, it was for something. We got some cute pics. That's a little more convenient. That, that is a lot more convenient. Bye. See you guys next time.